There is no doubt people of the area enjoyed the gallantry and outstanding display of hard work and commitments of the police officer during his lifetime. ACP Aminu Omar paid the supreme price in active service trying to protect people's lives and property within the jurisdiction of Duzuma Area Command of the Nigeria Police Force. People here are saying they are finding it very difficult to put the unfortunate event that led to the killing of the police officer behind them. This is because before his death, he stood firm in protecting the area from incessant terrorist attacks. The killing of ACP Aminu Omar keeps reminding me of the assassination of some northern leaders during 1966 coup. If anybody in this area tells you he is now sleeping with his two eyes closed since the unfortunate event, he is lying. The role played by the late area commander in the protection of lives and property in the insecurity from local government would remain indelible in our minds. He was so much committed to the restoration of peace and tranquility in the area. The people are in despair and are wondering why the fight against terrorism is taking this long to accomplish. Plagued by the activities of terrorists, the residents of Duzima, Kurifi, Safana, Damusa, Ankara, Basari, and Jibia local government areas now live in fear and uncertainty now that the police officer is no more. To the people in areas affected by insecurity, ACP Aminu Umar is equal to none. May Sol rest in Al Jennifer Dosi. I mean, barely a week after the killing of the police officer, bandits and other criminal elements have taken over total control of the insecurity from local governments, forcing farming communities to halt even at the height of rainy season in Kazuna State. This is why they are appealing for a more holistic approach to deal with the terrorists and their collaborators saying enough is enough. <laughs> We are still mourning the demise of the gallant police officer. To the people of Duzama and the environs, we are in trouble because the fragile security situation has totally collapsed since the very day the area commander was killed. Many of these impoverished villagers are saying hunger and poverty are taking a toll on the local communities and they can neither farm nor go to markets to earn a means of livelihood. Security of lives and property in the frontline local government is no longer guaranteed as hundreds of thousands have been displaced, dozens killed, millions of animals rustled and property worth billions of naira destroyed. Abdullahi Ismayamadi, Trust Television News, Katana.